allotropic form of carbons so these allotropic forms are are two types one is crystalline allotrophy next one is amorphous allotrophy the crystalline allotrophy examples are diamond graphite fullerene amorphous allotrophy examples are coal coke like that so in that first one diamond diamond so diamond is a hard substance it is a hard substance next one this diamond is a crystalline allotrophy it is an example of crystalline allotrophy diamond is undergoes crystalline allotrophy it is undergoes sp3 hybridization diamond is participation participated in sp3 hybridization in between the cc bond distance is 154 pm or the cc bond distance according to angstroms 1.54 angstroms so it is participated in sp3 hybridization its electron refractivity is is 3.54 angstrom sorry 3.54 gram per cc and next one the diamond is a non conductor or it is a insulator it is a non conductor substance means it is not allows the electricity through it and next one this diamond the diamond is the particles the diamond particles is arranged in in specific manner it is arranged in a specific manner the arrangement of particles are the constant particles in regular pattern is called as crystalline allotrophy okay the diamond is a crystalline allotrophy examples so this is discussed in in higher classes this is your geometrical structure okay so this distance is 154 p pm picometer and next one graphite this graphite is a soft substance graphite is a soft substance it is also a crystalline allotrophy it is undergoes sp2 hybridization hybridization its cc bond distance is 149 pm means picometer 149 picometer this graphite is a the graphite is act as a semiconductor the graphite is act as semiconductor means in between the carbon to carbon different layers are present so it having a some distance the distance is 340 p pm so means one carbon layer is upper another carbon layer is here it have having some distance so in this these are arranged as a hexagonal rings all are arranged in hexagonal rings like like this so these are arranged in hexagonal rings and another layer so this is diamond structure so graphite is arranged in different layers this is our first layer 
this is your second layer so all the constant particles are arranged like this so these are the constant particles which are arranged in in specific manner a regular pattern that is called as crystalline allotrophy okay this is your soft substance in between the one first layer to second layer means in between the layers its distance is 340 pm the distance between the carbon to carbon is 149 pm and it is act as a conductor because the distance is more so this distance is 340 pm so the distance between ear to ear this is 149 pm and next one fullerin the so fullerin is a carbon allotrophin this is generally the c60 fullerin so the c60 fullerin is there the c60 fullerin structure is similar to football shape it is discovered by crote and smiley it is containing hexagonal rings and pentagonal rings both are present so two types of rings are present in fullerene but graphite shows a only hexagonal rings the diamond shape is tetrahedral shape so the diamond shape is tetrahedral shape it undergoes sp3 hybridization graphite is sp2 hybridization so these are the allotrophic forms of carbon this allotrophic nature from top to bottom decreases okay next one the general characteristics of fourth a group elements are the carbon is a non carbon and silicon is non metal and germanium is metalloid tin and lead is metal and next one is so this carbon is react with oxygen it forms it produces different oxides carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and also in in the carbon having a catenation property due to the catenation property it exist a very it forms a various compounds like c double bond c c triple bond c or c double bond n or c double bond s or c triple bond n so this such type of compounds are formed means in between the carbon to carbon double bond or triple bond is formed only carbon forms double bond or triple bond in fourth a group elements remaining metals are does not formed does not exist this nature because this double bond the formation of double bond is due to p pi p pi bonding okay due to the presence of p pi p pi bonding it is available as it available or exist in double bond or triple bond so means in carbon only p orbitals are present only s and p orbitals are present whereas in remaining elements availability of d orbitals or d electrons so due to the presence of d and f electrons there is no double bond or there is no triple bond only sigma bond is formed between them so this is the special character of carbon compared to remaining elements